Hey folks, ooh wee. Well, I tell you, I, I, run, my, I run into a problem with, with my new, new unit that I bought to put up at the front of the boat, fish finder. Uh, went and bought myself a Hummingbird Helix Mega 10. And uh, I hooked everything up, was real happy. Uh, until I run into my problem, but anyway, uh, I hooked everything up and I did like I've always done, like everybody does with these uh, Tarovas. I got a Tarova trolling motor. Well, Tarovas have this groove here that we run our transducer wire in. You know, uh, I tell you, boy, then them. them uh, Transducers on these new Megas, well, them things are huge. But anyway, uh, I run the wire in the groove, and uh, just like I've done all my other units, all the uh, cables for transducer on all my other units, I've run a, a 500 series, uh, run the wire through there, and it run it, it fit fine. I uh, did a 700 series uh, unit, and run the cable through through that groove, and it fit everything worked fine, but. Uh, the cable on these megas, these things are huge, and I mean, it, it fit in there, but uh, it's too tight. Uh, but I thought it was going to work, so I put it on there, got it out in the water, and every time I deploy the the trolling motor, uh, it, you could tell it was pinching. It was pinching uh, right in here. That's where it pinched here and on the back side. And so uh, when I got home, after uh, being out there, you know, uh, I looked at the cable, and what it had done is started uh, gouging flat spots along my cable. It was it was cutting up my cable. I didn't do enough damage to, uh, to affect my unit, my the way my fish finder uh, works. Uh, but if I'd have kept going like that, yeah, it, it would it would have done some damage. And as much money as we pay for these units, oh, Lord have mercy. No, no, we can't have that. I'm not having that. So I had to find another another way to run that cable. I uh, found a lot of uh, a lot of ways to on the Internet, uh, do-it-yourself, ways to run the cable. And some of them were, were like this set up here, but I just didn't want to take chance. Like I said, you know, as much money as, we, as them units cost, uh, I'm not. I'm not going to take a chance. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get some that that has proven to work and and won't give you any problems. So uh, I found this uh, on a site. It's called uh, the site name is cornfieldcroppygear.com. That's cornfieldcroppygear.com. Talk to the guy, a really nice guy that owns owns that, uh, and uh, he said it would work and. Uh, I've, I've looked at a lot of pictures, got a lot of pictures of uh, customers that have installed it and I liked what I saw so I, I bought me one and it uh, took me no time to install it uh, and it seems like it's going gonna, it's gonna to do what I need it to do. Uh, it's called a, a, a cable saver. So uh, anybody that owns a, the Tarova, uh I would not recommend that you run the cable down the groove down at the, on the shaft here not with the not with the megas uh, I don't know about the mega five sevens or nines but I know the 10 and I'm sure the 12 also the cables like I said are just they're just way too thick uh, but anyway there's there's a head up heads up on, on that uh, uh, looks like it's going to take care of my problem I hope <laughs> hey y'all have a good one all right